Having performed on tracks with Neil Diamond, Kenny Loggins, and Michael McDonald, Tris Imboden is most notably known as the energizing drummer from the band Chicago. Now, on their recent stop through Connecticut, I sat down with him, and I had to ask him about his thoughts on being inducted into the Rock and Roll Hall of Fame next year. Well, <laughs> well, that is if we're inducted. Tris hopes that if the band is inducted, that they'll honor past members of the band as well. The management of the band would have made the decision mm -hmm. that all former members, uh, uh, particularly the, the ones from the original band, mm -hmm. uh, would, would all, all be a part. The drummer even recalled the first time he ever saw Chicago perform, before they even released their very first album. Incredible vocals, his bass player singing like crazy. Yeah. And I was like, who are these guys? Yeah. This might be the best band I've ever heard. Sure. You know? so that's to be full circle for you. I mean, not, not many drummers or musicians can say that they're playing for their favorite band of all time. Like I laughingly say, if somebody had, had told me, you know, you're going to be the drummer something. Mm. Yeah, yeah. Right absolutely. Now. Yeah, whatever oh, you yeah. say. And I'm Napoleon. Yeah, right, know? right. After years of forming a brotherhood in the band, Tris needed the support of his bandmates most in 2009 after going to the doctor for a routine angio cat scan. I got home uh, and the phone was ringing. <laughs> I answered the phone and it was my doctor and he said, uh, you have a seven centimeter tumor in your right lung. I was just floored. It was like being hit upside the head with a two by four. I equated lung cancer with a, with a sentence. It's a death sentence. Through his battle with cancer, Tris had to give up his greatest passion of drumming with the band. Well, I went through, through you know, numerous rounds of, of simultaneous radiation and chemo, and then surgery, mm -hmm. then post-op chemo as well. Now, all through that time, I wasn't able to do anything. In fact, I couldn't even lay down wow. to sleep. You know, I slept in a kind of a recliner. Mm -hmm. It took six months to, to come back and start playing with the band again. And the doctors were actually telling me, maybe that's a little too early. Mm -hmm. Maybe you should take, you know, yeah. more time. And you're jumping the gun but trying I, to get back yeah, on stage yeah. and everything. But I was going nuts. Yeah. You know, the band was out with Earth, Wind and Fire. This was 2009. That's one of my favorite pairings mm -hmm. that we've done. I was sitting there in Nashville looking at my watch going, yeah, it's like 8.30. They're probably playing Written in the Stone mm -hmm. and they're doing it together. Mm -hmm. And I I want to be there. Yeah. Well, I, I, uh, I would assume after this process, you have to be a little bit more passionate about drumming and all the different things that you love in life. You're a big surfer. Oh, so, so yeah. there has to be a greater appreciation when you can survive something like this and, and beat cancer. Absolutely. Gee, Ryan, I'm telling you, the reality is, is that, that there was only a 14% chance that I'd make it to five years. Mm -hmm. Ryan, when I, when I hit the five-year mark, I wanted to find a way to give back. I've become a, sort of a volunteer ambassador for the American Cancer Society Cancer Action Network. We launched this year the One Degree Project. Every one of us is like only one degree from somebody with cancer. So we're, we're lobbying Congress and you know trying to encourage them. Tris is set to launch a new book fittingly titled Beat It. And I told him that if he stops by the studio to chat about the book, I might have to show him up on the drum set. Oh, I, yeah, I wouldn't. But yeah, I've, I've never well, we can trade drums, licks. So. Yeah, right. You, you host the show, I'll drum, and then everyone will stop watching. On my behalf for not being able to drum, I'm sure you're great on camera.